with your CIG TV News update. I'm Donna Bush. On August 1st, government published the Disabilities Solomon Webster Bill 2016 in the Cayman Islands Gazette. This bill seeks to implement important parts of the Cayman Islands Disability Policy of 2014 through 2033 and further promote and protect the rights of persons with disabilities in several ways, including protecting persons with disabilities from having their civil and political rights infringed by any person, including individuals and non-governmental entities in specified in instances where the Constitution and other laws do not adequately address particular vulnerabilities. Now, Solomon Webster is remembered in the name of the bill because as a young man with a disability, he creatively and tenaciously worked to achieve and develop to, develop to his best ability despite his challenges. Solomon constantly strove to better himself, his family, and his community and represented the Cayman Islands internationally as a Special Olympics athlete. He was tragically killed in 2014. Now, the bill's sponsor, Premier the Honorable Alder McLaughlin, stated, My administration is committed to fostering a culture of respect for human rights, including strengthening legislative protections for persons with disabilities. For more information, you can go online to the Cabinet Office at cabinetoffice.gov.ky or by calling 244-3607. That's 244-3607. Long-service civil servant Mr. Henry Parchment was recently honored by his colleagues during a farewell luncheon. Mr. Parchment retired from his post as a financial administrator. He served as a civil servant for just over 33 years. Mr. Parchment's uh, sage advice to civil servants is keep your cool when facing personal or professional challenges. Don't give up when things get rough. Have respect for others and remember that while giving back to your country, you are also working to benefit yourselves and your family. Well, the government of the Cayman Islands will pay its final respects to the retired and much respected former governor of the Cayman Islands, the late Thomas Russell. The memorial service will take place this Thursday, August 4th, between 8 a.m. and 8.45 in front of the new government administration building. It will include tributes from those who knew or worked alongside Mr. Russell. Officials expected to attend include Her Excellency the Governor, Ms. Helen Kilpatrick, Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin, Deputy Governor the Honorable Franz Manderson, Leader of the Opposition the Honorable McKeever Bush, and other government dignities as well as invited guests. As always, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. For now, Donna Bush is always wishing you a wonderful and safe night. Thank you for joining me again here this evening. Hope you'll do the same again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.